This is a video tutorial on DataCube. I hopefully would like to run through all the features and capabilities starting from the basic to the more advanced in subsequent tutorials. Well, DataCube is a data warehousing software that creates models based on OLAP. What that means is that the data with which it works is accumulated over a period of time of the order of a few years and queries are run for strategic analysis rather than obtaining individual records. To understand this better, we will be seeing a car sales model and here we can say that rather than asking, I want the name of the person that bought a car, bought a particular car last Tuesday, we will be able to ask over the period of say 5 years in which transaction data was loaded into the queue, which branches of the company have shown the largest profits, which months of the year showed the highest sales, also which cars sold the most, etc. Now, DataCube consists of two EXEs, the DataCube Object and the DataCube Explorer. The DataCube Object deals with the creation of dimensions, measures, etc. We'll be seeing shortly what dimensions are, also what measures are. It also deals with loading of data, whereas the DataCube Explorer is read-only and is used for analysis of the data. To try and explain what dimensions and measures are, I will just open the DataCube Explorer for you with an existing model of car sales. We will be creating our own model soon. Here is the login window. I am choosing car sales as my model and the default username and password. Different users have different access capabilities which can be set when they are created. We will see that later. The default user has complete access so we will be using that itself. Now here are the dimensions. The formal definition would be a categorization used to spread out an aggregate measure into its constituent parts. Let me just elaborate on this. What we are doing essentially is creating a master table and organizing all possible fields like customer, sales date, vendor, etc. into separate and logical hierarchies called dimensions. The car products dimension has the dimension elements, vendor, line, product in the hierarchy as seen by these dots. The product is the unique dimension element as in a single line of cars may have many products but a particular product doesn't have any multiple sub products. The car sales company would load in the dimension car products as a list of all the products the company has. Hence when transaction data is loaded into the queue, this customer bought this product for this sales value. The product should already exist in the list as should the customer. Now, sales date happens to be somewhat of a universal dimension throughout models because year is defined as having 12 months, January, February, etc. for everyone. It is only if you would like to have an addition of another hierarchy like tri-semester for example, would you need to create a custom sales date dimension for your model. Dimensions will be much more clear when we are creating them as we will see a little later. Now, measures. If I were to click here and show you the measures in this model, we have quantity and sale value. These are the fields which we wish to analyze. For instance, how many cars, that is quantity, of this particular type in this particular year was sold by this particular employee. I will run this query for you. I need to move the measures button towards the right so as to create a proper hierarchy between your employee and measures and now click execute. Right. Now here we're getting the hierarchy. Year, employee might be the ID number and the measure which we're analyzing right now that is 
quantity and here are the products so hence let's take this we have answered the question how many cars of this particular type were sold in this particular year by this particular customer right now we can add the other measure also which is included in this model I'll just right click here select condition sale value execute ah yes so we have the sale value coming up also I would like to show you one thing I'll take the row total right now I'll just scroll down I get the totals here and As we can see, the greatest in 2006 is 400,000 and hence this employee should have been the employee of the year for 2006. Certainly, there are ways of determining who the employee of the year should be without having to scroll. But we will not waste our time seeing that right now. Okay, now we haven't talked about attributes yet attributes don't have any hierarchy they are associated with various dimensions they are fields that describe them more like here customer has the attributes customer phone customer credit limit etc customer long over here is an alias for customer it's a more descriptive version of the name like here I will add product long and execute now if you recall the definition of a dimension it was a categorization used to spread out an aggregate measure to reveal its constituent parts in this case we can consider the aggregate measure to be the total number of cars or the sum of the sale value as we move down the hierarchy we get information how total number of cars is divided let us say 500 bought from this country, 250 and 250 from these cities and finally 250 and 250 from these customers at the lowest hierarchy. Now it is noteworthy for me to show you one thing before we start making our own model. If I were to remove these and drag in vendor and customer country execute logically the car sales company bought from the vendor and then sold to the customer at a different period in time over here we are seeing a direct relationship between these two we might say that the customer bought from the vendor itself eliminating the car sales company as a middleman. If we would like to create a model that doesn't eliminate the car sales company we can do that too. And yes you guess right the measures then would have to be four quantity bought, cost value, quantity sold and sales value. Let us not worry about that too much. We can have a look at it later. Now that we are done with understanding what dimensions and measures are, I am tempted to start showing you the features and capabilities of the explorer. But it won't be fun unless we create our own model. Also, then we will be able to appreciate the quick processing time of our queries. As we can see down here, about five seconds 
This time is with respect to the processing of databases that are of the order of 10 million records. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for listening.